Holy sh- <laughs> Little king, little puppet. <laughs> Welcome ladies and gentlemen, let's play Reigns. My name is Weasel and today we will be governing our kingdom by swiping left to right, just like Tinder. Basically, it's Tinder meets, uh, monarchy or something along those lines. Uh, I played a little bit to get an idea of the game, but we're going to start fresh from the beginning. It's available for free bucks on Steam, so if you guys enjoyed, you should definitely grab it. Uh, we're going to jump right into it. Are you the young king? So I can swipe left or right to choose what I want to choose. Uh, I'm going to say like, yeah, sure, I'm, I'm, I'm the young king. Yes. Come on. There you go. So you're the one who usurped my throne and sent me to this dungeon to rot for eternity. Um, no, I didn't. Well, you're in charge of the mess now. Good luck with that. They're all pretty crazy. We'll see. But just try to keep a balance between the four powers to keep your head on its uh, shoulders. Yes, up here you have church. I'm not entirely sure manpower uh, your military and money. And you got to keep those in check. If they go below a certain limit, you will lose the game, which will then cause you to, you know, start again. Um, the game will go into depth more what that is about. But yeah, let's let's keep going. Yes, okay, sure, that sounds like a good tip. The spirit looks at you thoughtfully, then disappears. You enter the courtroom. All right, this is where we're starting. One year in power. Our beautiful capital smells of garbage half the year. Let's build a sewer system. You know what? That that seems fantastic. Yes, I'm, I'm totally down for that. Uh, and as you can see, things up there happen. The mountainous region near the eastern border is unlawful and unruly. I don't care. Or what are the options? Tell me about the options, actually. We could appoint Sir Henry to govern that region and make him pay for the privilege. Hmm. Wouldn't mind some money? Yeah, sure. That well, sounds good. I accept, sire. It's a great honor to bring your rule to that savage country. All right, thank you. Uh, be, be fair, please. Yeah, people like that. That's good. Thank you, Sir Henry's actions. The mountainous region is now corrupt as well as unruly. That was quick. That was really quick. Sir Henry is at the head of a large horde of half bandits. Should I send the army? Great. Great. Um... Yes, send the army. I surrender, let me live, and I will tell you where the bandit's treasure is. No! Off with his head. He's been disrespectful. Should we build embassies in the neighboring countries? It may be a good way to prevent wars. You know what? Yeah, sure, let's build some embassies. I, I don't see that being a bad idea at all. We'd like to raise a new tax for the church, share of the crown, of course. You know, I'm not a big fan of taxing people, but I could use the money and, you know, it's, you know. It's for your uh, salvation. Yes, let's do that. Gives me some extra people, some money. Uh, my lord, I'm master of Sherwood, the merchant's guild master. Please accept a token of our gratitude. Uh, sure. Nice, so I govern for five years. The goal is to govern as long as possible, obviously, and keep everything in balance. So I'm pretty happy that I managed that, the first milestone. The miners are refusing to dig in the mine. They want the race. Mm, all right, give him a race. Ooh, that was expensive. If you were an animal, what would it be? A lion? Fuck if I know. No, probably not. Scorpion? Eh. Gazelle? Eh. What? Uh, yes, I agree, uh, Rex. I, I do agree full heartedly. I don't know what that was about. A fine company of your drunken soldiers ransacked an abbey. We want justice. Hmm. No. I'm sorry, but the tower of the basilica is falling apart. We need your help Sure, that's gonna cost me a lot of money as you can see there's these little dots about the symbol which will tell what it affects so No, no, just raise some money from your um You know sheep that are following you raise some money from them the goldsmith of the capital created a cartel to organize their trade They want your approval Um, A cartel well, you'll give me probably money Sure. Church didn't like it too much. There are too many people to execute. I need help from the army. Uh... Uh, no? We heard about a young princess being held against her will in Dark Rock Castle. All right. Um, that sounds, you know, is there a dragon too and some, you know, treasure? So, uh, my horse. It's obviously a trap. Good question. I guess, I mean, I wouldn't mind. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's get there. That was actually a good decision. You ride to Dark Rock in full armor, proud, glorious, and glittering. All right, good. Let's see. Breathing fire. Are you the king? Are you here for the damsel? Um, yes. Oh, good. There, take her. I will kill you first. Okay, no, I don't want to kill the dragon. But nobody's killing anyone. You're here for the girl. Here she is. End of story. 
Okay. <laughs> My hero. Yes, no, I like that. Sure, yeah, you. that sounds fine. Are you back, sir? Did you enjoy your little entertainment? The dragon was not cheap. Wait, what? Who paid? Who the freak paid for the dragon? Anyway, I have a gift for you in one of my hands. Okay, I'm 14 years in power. I'm having a really good run here. Um, I'll take the left gift. Nope, didn't get it. Gives you a dead bird, then he runs away shrieking. Thank you! Not helpful at all. We would like to build a school in the capital for the enlightenment of the people. Okay, so if I say... If I say yes, it's gonna cost me money, but we're gonna get some church followers and people. So I'm gonna spend some money to make the church happy. I'm Sister Brienne, the headmistress of the new school. Help us nurture young souls. Um, I don't have the money. Sorry, I just spend money on that other thing. It, he asked first, that's, you know. Your fortress is too weak. We should build a new tower. Hmm. Gonna cost me money. Hmm, that's gonna cost me military. I'm running low on money, I can't afford that. Your church is weak and the people blasphemous. Yes, they are. That would just... No. Yes or no, I, I like that. He comes to me, ah, they're blasphemous! No. No, they're not. No, you're just making shit up. Our flag should be changed, it's really not fashionable. What are the options? A red cross on a golden field or something else? Okay, that would make the church happy, sure. Ah, uh, damn it. The army isn't doing too well. What are we doing? Okay, 20 years in power, that's not bad. That's- that's better than many others. My lord, the wolves are eating our children. And we hunt them. The children? Why would you hunt the children? Just kidding. Um... Uh, I will hunt them myself. Sure, I will hunt the wolves myself. You have suffered a terrible accident during the hunt. You're bleeding so much. Let me rest. Get a doctor! Yes, friggin' hell, get a doctor. Alright, the wise. Recruit a doctor. Cool, I got that. My lord, I will have to cut off your arm. Ah, uh, Do it. The doctor is conducting ungodly experiments in the room. He must be stopped. Ah, uh, No. Don't- don't stop him. I'm well aware of that. I'm totally cool with that. <laughs> what? I'm a serial killer. Yeah, I mean, you are- you- you- You are the executioner. That's kind of your thing. You're my executioner. This job sucks. If I could... Maybe, but nobody wants to do it. Out of the question. Maybe, but nobody wants to do it. You should organize a curfew. The streets of the capital are not safe at night. Um... Sure. I could be the executioner. Do doctor? Really? Okay, sure. I'm looking for a simple way to test exotic new poisons. I can pay. Yeah! That sounds good. Give me some money for that. Fantastic. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> I killed all my people. I'm looking for a simple way. Yeah, it's a quickly pit that the hygiene was the doctor's least concern. The terrible plague followed the doctor's experiments on convicts. You're among the first to rot. Oh, lovely. All right, so... That- that was the first run. Edward the Old! From 603 to 627. Fantastic. The king is dead. I really like how this played out. I really like the choices you get. It's fairly straightforward, but it makes quite a big of difference. Alright, so... Uh, now we're in uh, 628. James, the second king. Win a duel, meet the witch, meet the devil. Okay. Are you the young king? Spirit of the Fallen. Yeah, sure. Ah, uh, just kidding. I know we've been through this already. That's your cur our curse, see? I don't understand. Explain it to me. We will remember each and every king of this dynasty. Every compromise, every death for ages. But... It is said that only the devil will allow us to blissfully forget the cursed kings, but does he even exist? Sure. That's an interesting thought. Maybe he does. Maybe we will find him eventually. Okay, yes. The spirit slowly drifts away. Okay. So, it's 629, and uh, yeah, we're a new king, James. Alright, we're gonna have to win a duel, meet the witch, and meet the devil. Well, let's see if we can do that. The kingdom of the south claims that you're betrothed to their young princess. Declining may trigger a war. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that means. Sure, let's do that. Mr. Avensoir, I would like to meet up with some of the scientist friends from the west in our cas- in your castle. Yeah, sure. This is the coldest winter of the last 30 years. After the weak harvest, your people are starving. 
Give our supplies. I can't help. You know what? Give our supplies. Let's let, let them out stuff. Oh, that was expensive. My family laughs at the size of our castle. We should build a bigger place. Queen Joanne. Really? That's expensive. I can't afford that shit. Oh, shh. Your country is ruined, my lord. Merchants and nobility own everything. What? <laughs> the new oligarchy forces you to exile. Well, that was a that was a short run. Five years in power. <sighs> that happens when you build a castle you can't afford. There, there's something to be learned. The king is dead. Well, that didn't last very long. All right, let's let's try Edward, the third king. Quits. All right, the school is an elaborate scheme to brainwash a whole generation with religious idiocies. Stop it! No, we're not gonna stop the school. We want to build a new marketplace. It will open our economy to foreign trade. You know what? That sounds like a glorious idea. Why not? The Vikings are attacking us. We should defend our kingdom from the north. Um, we should defend? You know what? Let's. He's a general. I'm not a general. I don't know what, what, what the right choice here is. So I'm gonna say, yeah, we're gonna go with defending. I would like to conduct a mass to the memory of your father. Sure. Cost a little bit, but, you know, the church is happy. The folks of a remote village are teaching their children to spit on the king's man. Should we make an example? Yes, nobody spits on the king's man. We should attack the kingdom of the south. They're growing stronger every day. Yes, let's attack him. I would like to conduct new research on weapons and warfare. Will you help? Yes, of course. Of course. Well, well, we can't be weak. We have to stop this weak path. We have to be stronger now. The estuary of the river drop is a dangerous swamp for travelers. We should sanitize the whole area. And eh, it's gonna cost a little bit of money. Otherwise, it's gonna cost us lives. Yeah, let's let's make sure we don't have another plague. The kingdom of the south is offering to join forces against the Vikings. I trust them. Sure, let's do that. All right, sister. An earthquake destroyed a large part of the capital. The city guards awaits your orders. Prevent pillaging, save the victims. Prevent pillaging. Yes. There's been a massive breakout from the prison. We need to organize a search party. Okay. Our population is pretty low. I don't like it. Um, Search party. Sure, let's do that. Victory! The Vikings are defeated. Should we exterminate all the prisoners? No! Let them go. No pity. Hmm. Let, let them go. That's fine. I met a strange lady well versed in the ancient arts of plans and dreams. Would you like to meet her? Hmm. Oh yeah, right. Meet the witch. Yes, I would love to meet her, please. Yes. Yeah, ha <laughs> Met the witch. The harvest has been fantastic, my lord. And also, I got uh, new cards. Why Arcanum? I like that. The harvest has been fantastic, my lord. Feed the people. Feed the army. Uh, feed the people. People aren't doing too hot. My lord, would you like to taste my cake? That's um too hot for it's it's too hot for cake. It's I don't I don't know, Lady Grey. You're probably poisoning that cake. I, I can't. No. Sorry, no cake. Hi, Father. The Merchant's Guild is selling goods traditionally produced by the Abbey. Put an end to this. Um, no, it's a free market. I would like to conduct new research on the fable transmutation of lead into gold. Could you finance me? <laughs> no, no, sorry. No, I'm not financing that. That's not working. Oh, are you the witch? I'm Lady Karkovia. I can help you understand the laws of nature and the limits of humankind. Well, tell me more. That sounds useful. A group of villagers pretend that they're assaulted by celestial beings. It's probably a trick to pay less tax. Yes, it is. It's probably... Uh, okay. Yes, please pay more taxes. A ship has been quarantined. It may be the plague. Shall we quarantine the whole port? Yes, absolutely. Let's make sure we're not dealing with the plague. We're 20 years in power. I don't want to risk that. I could build a hospital to prevent a surge of epidemics. A witch could build a hospital? Yeah, sure. Ooh, pricey. Okay. This will have effect every year. Mount Care, the hospital will limit the consequence of epidemics and cat catastrophes. That's cool. I wonder uh, if that's also for the future. I, I guess just this gameplay. But that's good. Great. Yakoti. A great fire is destroying your castle, my lord. Hmm. Um, save the treasury, save the garrison. Save the treasury. Would you like? I didn't have any money left, so I had to do that. Would you like to play Red Dwarf, my lord? Let's start with a small bet. I don't want to ruin you. What? Yeah, sure. You're trying to trick me. I know the treasury is empty. No, I make the money. Actually, uh, no, it's not empty. 
Even, you won, my lord, but that's just beginner's luck. I bet you can't do that again. Rhymey. Dice are rolling. I'm pretty sure I won. I don't want to raise the stakes while we still can. Show me. Forehead slowly lifts the goblet, revealing two dice. Even, you won, my lord, but that's just beginner's luck. I bet you can't do that again. You know what? I'm just not, uh... I can't do it again. Let's let's not gamble our treasury away with some weird jester. That's probably not a good idea. We found some gold in the mine. Should we try to dig deeper? Yes, dig deeper. <laughs> I really like the voiceovers. They're really cool. Yes, Wheatley, I know. I, I know. I'm excited too. The Eastern Baronies are at war again and their population is crossing our frontier as we speak. Oh. You know what? Welcome them. Ah, uh, that was not smart. <laughs> <laughs> You've got gout, my lord. I recommend less meat, more vegetables, and no love stories of any kind. Um, sure, that sounds healthy. Oh, damn it! There's a, there's a, there's ah, uh, not enough population. Okay, wolf, wolf. Rex invites you to follow him. All right, all right, I'll follow him. Oh, Rex brings you to a lonely caravan in the marketplace. Um, enter the caravan. Are you, are you, toad as a human? Don't tell me. I see. King? Full of glory and regal composure. In front of him lay... Ruins? I made the, I will see the future. Cool, I got, got a thing. At the end of all things, the islander will play this role. Okay. That will be 600 gold pieces. Sure. <laughs> I don't know what that was about, but I'm... I'm glad I'm not dead and that it wasn't a trap. The mines are full of gold, my lord! We are rich! I'm pretty confident this concoction of leeches fed on your maiden blood will cure your gout. No, thank you. No, thank you. I'm good. Good call. Thank you. I should. I'd want to eat leeches filled with my maiden's blood. Weird guy. We may have a problem. A monk has started to bite his brothers, and it's spreading fast. Zombies. Um, werewolves. General. This is probably a case of lycanthropy. I can't. I don't deal with that. Werewolves? Werewolves! I don't think so. No, you should call that cruel lack of physical activity. What? I'm, I'm confused. Uh, <laughs> did he just switch to a wolf? Well! The Eastern Baronies are regrouping under the banner of a terrible warlord sent the army. I'm gonna trust the witch. Yes! Man, so many choices. It's, it's, it's just one choice after the other. Could we this member boy at loose tongue, please? This clown broke down a trebuchet. Yeah, sure. Boar had loose tongue. It's, let's chop his head off. Gotta be, gotta be strong. I was playing tennis with a giant. He won. Hey, the army. That's fine. He doesn't have to, he doesn't have to die. He, you know. Rex moans in despair. Something is not right. Whoa, what's going on? Pat the dog. Oh. Diabolos, time is gone. Space is insane. Here it comes. Here again. You feel your mouth closing down as if it never had one. What? I don't I don't know what's going on. Holy shit! <laughs> little king, little puppet. No words. Few thoughts. Many deaths. Centuries ago you asked for eternal power in exchange for your soul. Fortunately, you didn't mention anything about immortality. Each of your deaths is enjoyable. But even more so is the choice I will let you make now. Go, little puppets, and see you again in 666 years. Right, it is the year 666. That's how you meet the devil, at the year 666. Okay, we met the devil. Ah, that was cool. Deathwish, the next character you say yes to will die. <laughs> okay. The goldsmith of the capital created a cartel to organize their trade. They want your approval. Um... Um, n no, I don't want you to die, Master of Sherwood. Boon! The river drop is flooding a large part of the country. We need help from the church and the army. Ah, uh, poor Boon. Poor Boon, I want to help the people. But you're gonna die. I'm sorry, Boon. A body was later found horrifyingly torn and bloated. I'm sorry. Our enemies want a peace treaty. This is the best way to end the war. Sure. I agree. The East and the South are coordinating attack against the kingdom. Should we ask the West for help? Sure, let's do that. Long live the king, you're turning 50 years old today. Wow, that old! Pretty impressive. I started being uh, 12 years old, I guess, because I'm 38 years in power. 
Um, don't tell me. Yes, sure. Let's just say yes. My lord, would you like to hunt down some wild pigs? Sure. The hunt was a success. We have a very fine banquet, to banquet tonight. Yes. We should create a museum of science to collect all living creatures I can help in my spare time. Yeah, sure. That sounds like a fun thing. Ooh. Governed for at least 40 years. I'm doing fantastic here. You people in the north are superstitious and imp... Was impure. I do not know what that word means, but I'm gonna go with superstitious. Build more churches. No, because I don't have the money for that. A convent of nuns has started meowing like cats. It's spreading to the village. Ah, uh, why would I care? The nuns kept meowing for ages. In the end, the church declared them heretics and burned down the covenant. Okay. We may be able to find a way to stop the war thanks to diplomatic efforts from our embassies. Yes, let's do that. That's cool. It's anarchy in the streets, my lord. A large mob is breaking into the castle. What? Why? Your reign ends here, but no one harms you. You die many years later, praised and well remembered. That was beautiful. Edward the Ancient. High score, 44 years in power. The king is dead, Edward the Ancient. That was pretty cool. And I don't know what's going on there. Just interesting. But we're going to continue this because I'm having a lot of fun playing this. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it so I know you guys also had fun watching it. I hope to see you guys in the next one. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye. Uh, so far, so good. We're, we're looking fine. Uh, it is quite snowy. What is, what is going on here? Just a pile of rubble. Looked like, looked like the person for a moment. Am I the only person flying this whole thing? Wasn't there a second person or anything? I guess we're the only one. All right then, let's uh, let's, let's meet the folks at the research station. That's why we're here, after all.